Question number 171, the transfer of zygote or embryo with up to 8 plastomeres and embryo with more than 8 plastomeres is respectively called. And the options given are IUI and ZIFT, second option ZIFT and AI, third option ZIFT and IUT and fourth option GIFT and ZIFT. Let us first see abbreviations of these ART, that is Assisted Reproductive Technologies. ZIFT stands for Zygote Intrafallopian Transfer. which means transfer of zygote or embryo with up to eight blastomeres. Second is IUT. IUT stands for intrauterine transfer. And IUT refers to transfer of embryo with more than eight blastomeres. So this is called ZIFT and this is intrauterine transfer. IUI. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. That is Deposition of semen in the uterus with the help of AI gun. AI stands for artificial insemination. That is deposition of semen in vagina or in uterus with the help of AI gun. GIFT stands for gamete intrafallopian transfer. And in this, gametes are transferred into the fallopian tube. Now, let's look into the options again. First option, IUI and ZIFT. This cannot be a correct answer. Second option, ZIFT and AI. This cannot be a correct answer. Third option, ZIFT and IUT. This is correct. ZIFT, that is zygote intrafallopian transfer, means transfer of zygote or embryo with up to eight blastomeres. IUT stands for intrauterine transfer, that is transfer of embryo with more than eight blastomeres. Fourth option, GIFT and ZIFT. This cannot be a correct answer and correct answer to this question is option number three. Now moving to the next question, question number 172. Which of the following events are correct for normal quiet inspiration? A. Diaphragm becomes dome-shaped. This is incorrect. Diaphragm in relaxed condition is dome shaped and during inspiration, diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contracts. And when diaphragm contracts, it becomes flat. So this cannot be a correct statement for inspiration. B, ribs and sternum moves downward and inward. This is also incorrect. During inspiration, External intercostal muscles contract and by contraction of external intercostal muscles, ribs and sternum are raised. C. Intrapleural pressure becomes more negative. This is correct. During normal quiet inspiration, diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract. When diaphragm contracts, volume of thoracic cavity increases in anterior posterior axis and when external intercostal muscles contract ribs and sternum are raised and thoracic cavity volume increases in dorsoventral axis and when volume of thoracic cavity increases intrapleural pressure becomes more negative that is more less than the intrapleural pressure and as a result lungs expand pulmonary volume increases and pulmonary pressure decreases and this decreases with respect to the atmospheric pressure. So air rushes inside and this is known as inspiration. The intrapulmonary pressure decreases, this is correct. So 
correct ones with respect to normal quite inspiration are C and D and this is given in option number three. So correct answer to this question is option number three. Moving to the next question. Question number 173 match the following columns and select the correct option. Column one A false ribs. 8th, 9th and 10th pair of ribs are false ribs as they do not articulate directly with sternum. They articulate through high line cartilage of 7th rib. So, A matches with 4th. B, glenoid cavity. This is present in the scapula and this glenoid cavity articulates with head of humerus to form shoulder joint which is a type of ball and socket joint. So, B matches with 2. C. Clavicle. Clavicle is also known as collarbone. Here you can see in the diagram clavicle. This is collarbone and it has two curvature and one end of clavicle articulates with the acromion process of scapula and another end articulates with the manubrium of sternum. So clavicle that is C matches with three. Clavicle has two curvatures and articulates with the process of scapula. D. Acromion. Acromion is a flat expanded process of a scapula. So D matches with 1. Let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 4, B with 2, C with 3, D with 1. This is given in option number 1. So correct answer to this question is option number 1. Moving to the next question. Question number 174. Which of the following is correct with respect to nervous system of Periplaneta Americana? And the options given are first option ventral part of body holds a bit of nervous system while breast is present in head. This is incorrect because head holds a bit of nervous system and rest is present along the belly side of the body. Second option brain supplies nerves to antennae and compound eyes. This is correct. So correct answer to this question. Let's see option three and fourth also. Third option, brain is represented by subesophageal ganglion. This is incorrect because brain is represented by supraesophageal ganglion. Fourth option, if the head of cockroach is removed, it will immediately die as brain is situated in head region. This is incorrect because if the head of cockroach is removed, it will survive for few days as head holds a bit of nervous system. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Moving to the next question. Question number 175, BT cotton is resistant to and the options given are first option cotton ball bomb which belongs to order Lepidoptera. This is correct. So correct answer to this question. Let's see other options also. Second option corn border which belongs to order Lepidoptera. This is incorrect because BT cotton is not resistant to corn border. Third option beetles which belong to order Coleoptera. This is incorrect because BT cotton is not resistant to beetles. And fourth option cotton ball worm which belongs to order Coleoptera. This is incorrect because cotton ball worm belongs to the order Lepidoptera and not Coleoptera. So correct answer to this question is option number one. Now moving to the next question. Mm -hmm.